The diamond is where the two worlds of Chad Perkins meet, coaching the 16 and under Nebraska Quakes Prime in the style of an Air Force veteran. You're not playing for you know, yourself, you're playing for your teammates, and if you're down, you know, somebody's there to pick you up, and they really embody that. But this summer, Perkins had his team play for the name on the back of the jersey. My name is Lexi Black, and I play for Blaine E. Redding. My name is Caden Archibek, and I'm playing for Jeff Chain. My name is Jennifer Bovey, and I play for Private Board. My name is Claire Reinhardt, and I play for Sergeant Coral. On the players' shoulders, names of Nebraska's fallen soldiers. It not only touches their family, but it's touching the Gold Star families as well, knowing that these ladies are out there playing for them. So it's, it's a neat deal. Curiosity led each player to research their soldier, uncovering the life behind the name. He wasn't supposed to be deployed until January, but he uh, switched with a man who had wife and children. This is the job he'd love to do, even if it means risking his life. He went to Grand Island Senior High, and that's just 30 miles from my high school, so he could have been the kid like across the gym at a basketball game. The jerseys became known in the area's softball scene, often met with praise, including a special moment with a Kansas Vietnam vet who tried holding back tears. He was thanking us for representing um, the soldiers, and he really was speechless. You know, a year from now, you're not going to know the score of that game. You probably won't even know who you played. But having that gentleman come and talk to you, that's something that you'll remember for the rest of your life. Later this fall, the Quakes will present those jerseys to the Gold Star families they represented throughout the softball season. It's a way to connect the team and the troops and a way to say thank you for the selfless sacrifices of the softball soldiers. In Omaha, Matt Lothrop, KETV Newswatch 7 Sports.